Just like we can extend backbone.model to create our custom model types, we can use the extend method to further create submodel types. Here I've got a model called animal with a method called walk that logs a message to the console. Let's go ahead and create a new model type that inherits from the animal. With this, our dog model now inherits all the capabilities of the animal. So we can call the walk method on the dog, which should log a message to the console. Let's verify this in Chrome. There you go. We didn't define the walk method on the dog, but the code was inherited from the base model type. We can also overwrite methods in a base class. Let's see how it works. With this code, if we call the walk method on the dog, the implementation inside the dog class will be executed. Let's try it out in Chrome. This verifies that the walk method in the dog class overwrote the one of its base class. You might ask, what if we want to call the walk method in the base class? In C Sharp or Java, we do this with the keyword base or super. Unfortunately, JavaScript doesn't provide an easy way to do this, but this is still possible. Let me show you how it works. Basically, you need to access the prototype of the base class and then call the target method using the apply method. Okay, now if we test this out in Chrome, we shall see two messages, one from the walk method in the animal and the other from the dog. So we can use the extend method to further extend the inheritance hierarchy. All the capabilities of a base class will be inherited by the child classes. So far, you have learned how to create and instantiate models and how to get and set their attributes. Most backbone applications that use models often need to get the models from a persistent store on the server. In the next lecture, we'll cover how to synchronize our models with a persistent store on the server. Thank you for watching.